riskier adverts for riskier videos. Are we about to see the end of demonetization and that horrible yellow icon? Well, welcome back to another video. Now, in this giant whirlwind that is the FTC and COPPA recently, everyone's panicking about, oh no, if, if kids' content, which is safe, can't be monetized anymore, and last year we lost all of the high-end stuff where, you know, it wasn't advertiser-friendly or wasn't kid-friendly enough to advertise on, now what are we going to do? Well, it seems that YouTube was kind of already aware of this being a problem. And even before they was fined $170 million, they were testing out in an experiment a way to match sensitive or edgier videos to edgier advertisers. Now, in this case, this means that if you happen to be of the adult demographic, let's say 18 to 35, 18 to 45, you're more likely to appreciate uh, slightly funny, slightly more adult orientated advert against slightly more adult orientated content. For example, I don't have a problem with seeing a violent trailer for a Marvel movie against a movie review that's about Marvel or other related topics. So it seems that YouTube might be flipping the whole paradigm on itself, including confirming this in Susan Wojcicki's last blog of the year, in which she wrote, we're also running experiments to help match content that could be considered edgy, with advertising that fits their brand. As you know, yellow icons are a signal to only limited advertising can run on particular videos. We're working to identify advertisers who are interested in edgier content, like a marketeer looking to promote R-rated movie, so we can match them with creators that, whose content fits their ads. In the first month of the program, this has resulted in hundreds of thousands of dollars in ads on yellow icon videos. So basically, for two years they were making us as advertiser friendly as possible and now they're being kicked in the ass by the FTC and copper. They're trying to find that happy medium, which I believe they should have done in the first place. It goes on to say, for gaming creators we've heard loud and clear that our policies need to differentiate between real world violence and gaming violence. We have a policy update coming soon that will do just that. The new policy will have fewer restrictions for violence in gaming, but maintain a high bar to protect audiences from real world violence. I understand why they're doing this. From a business perspective, they must have seen the FTC thing coming a mile off, right? They weren't just fined in one day. They knew the litigation was coming. They knew the fine was there. They paid $170 million and then they started to panic because they've been slanting us towards kid friendly for ages. I mean, is it Ryan Does Toys or Ryan the Toys or Ryan the Toy Reviews? Billions and billions of views. People have been actively sat there with their kids watching Peppa Pig repeats or watching unboxings, which come on, have been toy adverts for, for, for many, many years. The explosion of slime, where everyone's making slime and kid-friendly videos. Everyone was leaning into the kid-friendly money because it was, you know, safe until it wasn't anymore. And now YouTube understands that maybe the demographic they should have been dealing with is the ones that had the money in the first place. The ones that were old enough to be using that platform. Maybe strip off all adverts from all kid-friendly videos because then they are kid-friendly and monetize everything else right lean into it like TV has done for all of these years right because in that way as an adult if I'm talking about football and there's an advert for beer that makes sense if I'm watching wrestling which is simulated violence and there's once again an advert for fast food and beer or oh, duff that's the wrong example, but you know, Budweiser or Carlsberg or anything, that makes sense. And I'm sure there's much more money in beer and spirits than anything else. So now YouTube are leaning into that and it means the eradication, or at least the monetization of the yellow icon once more. So instead of you earning, I don't know, two cents on a hundred thousand views, because let's be honest, as soon as you saw that it was yellow, you realize you weren't making any money. To the other side now in which, okay, you're coming slightly edgier that might mean that you might actually ironically get a higher CPM and you pander to your adult audience because you can't pander to a child audience anymore because the FTC and copper. I want to know your opinion on this. Do you think this is YouTube finally swaying back in the direction they should have done? Is this them panicking and sorting out something that should have been in place in the first place? Or do you think this is the next generation? Is this 2020 YouTube going forward, not demonetization? The kids channels have gone. 
right? Just like two, three years ago, animation disappeared, but now we're leaning more into blokey, blokey, laddie, laddie, more, I don't know, 20 year old plus kind of content. Let me know in the description down below. Also, there's a playlist here of all of the FTC information explaining the limitation on children's content if you need further information on that.